do have a lot of questions, in fact. Mm, okay. <laughs> So uh, the first one was, would it make sense to combine the inspection of air tightness, or I guess building air tightness or doctor air tightness and commissioning with the inspection for hygiene? So according to doctor cleanliness standard 15780, contaminant, contaminated air ducts also cause major energy losses. Okay, air tightness is a topic in the uh, inspection. So Dean Spec 15 uh, 240 uh, um, requests also to inspect the air tightness um, for the for the ducts. Uh, hygienic aspects are uh, we deal with BDI 6022, uh, which also should uh, take into account, but there is a specific um, inspection regular inspection necessary every two or three years, depending of uh, systems have uh, humidity, humidifiers or not. So we do regularly uh, inspections for hygiene uh, in this case. Okay. And, and is it and right? Contaminated air ducts, uh, of course, are, are, uh, is our reasons for energy losses. That's right. So because of this, we also check the, the quality and uh, the yeah the ducts the tightness of the ducts and so do, do you perform the duct air tightness test when you perform the inspection of the ventilation system each time or just once or on the um, we uh... don't perform tests so this is actually an additional um, an additional work which um, has to be done uh, we are checking uh, the, the ducts by just viewing and hearing, as I can say. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, but then we give some advices if there are more things to do. And, and then it's, an, uh, it's, it's actually called in the Dean Spec 15 2040, it's a classification or class of C, which is additional work for the inspection, which, which also have to be um, yeah, paid additional. Course. Okay, so it's not generally done. No, it's yeah, just sometimes. The tests are not generally done. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there is a practical question here. If we are an owner, can we request an inspection to see if the tenant is doing the maintenance correctly, or vice versa? If we are the tenant, can we ask for an inspection if we have a duct on the building, uh, on the rented building? Yeah, you can, uh, of course, uh, request an inspection, which is maybe not necessary by uh, our national energy efficiency rule. So this is then uh, uh, like, uh, is, is possible at all times to, to, to work with the Dean spec uh, regulation and do a regular inspections. So that's uh, every owner or tenant of course, can decide to do inspections. Yeah, but the the requirement is every ten years. Every ten years, yeah. Okay, and so what and then the... so it's it's uh, it's not not only for ventilation. So it's actually not for ventilation, but it's um, uh, connected to the cooling uh, function. So it's just for air conditioning and ventilation systems with cooling functions over twelve kilowatt. Okay. Um. So this uh, there was a question regarding the test. Uh, why are the air inlets and extract blocked when measuring the tightness? So I, I guess this is about the building air tightness here. So ventilation system should be taken into account during the measurement by blow order test. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not this sure. This is a specific uh, question for air tightness. This is actually not part of the in inspection work in Germany. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Because yeah, usually we blocked in that indeed the inlet and the extract when we do a building air tightness test. Yeah. And then when we do a duct work air tightness test, we also block the inlet yeah. and the extract to test only the duct work. But it's two different tests. You do not yeah. uh, include the duct work leakages in the building air tightness test. No. So air in, tightness of during the, the inspection work, we do not we do no blower door tests. Uh, this has to be done in Germany according uh, the uh, in um, in single family homes, so in smaller buildings, in residential buildings. So we do blower door tests, but not in the inspection for air conditioning systems. 
Absolutely. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, another scope, in fact. So you do the inspection of ventilation system more in non-residential building, I guess, as it's yeah. up to be linked yeah. with yeah. air conditioning. Actually, and... 100%, yeah. So far, yeah. it's it's 100% uh, non-residential buildings. Okay, while building air tightness test is 100% residential building. Yes. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Almost. Okay. Um, are there any regulations for non-residential buildings which are mandatory for Germany related to air treatment systems? So, so I guess regulation for the inspection of uh, air treatment systems specific to air treatment systems. As of uh, for the inspection, there are no uh, no regulation, no more regulations as the ones which I was talking about so far as I know. Um, no, I don't. I don't think. Okay, uh, there is a question about how, what do you do with all these reports? Uh, are they analyzed as uh, for national statistics? Is there a national database? How is it uh, updated with new reports? And maybe who is doing the yeah. statistic also, if there is some? Yeah, this is actually what I also would like to know what they are doing with these reports. So they do some statistics, they have a tool uh, which are used with these reports and they do some statistics of the quality of the reports. And this statistics, uh, I just know that they are sent to the to the EU and um yeah there is no feedback to us to inspectors uh what what uh, really um to do with these reports yeah and, and who is who is doing the stuff who is it sent to the report the federal okay. authorities so they are in in each federal state in germany there is an uh, authority which deals with energy efficiency uh, aspects uh, regarding to the geg and um they are getting these reports and do and they do also the quality check of the reports. Yeah, but but there are no official statistics about the results. Okay, and then it's um, it's uh, okay managed by the federal authority. Yeah, uh, no official stats. Okay, I guess if you have the contact of those federal authorities, some uh, other country may be interested to to exchange on. Uh, on this, I think that was the, the idea of the question. Yeah, but um, uh, the authorities are not allowed to give information. So we also have tried to get information um, about these reports, but they are not allowed to, to give any information about this. Okay, that's a pity. Yeah. Um, so the periodic inspection is required for our conditioning systems according to GG. Uh, so this means standalone ventilation system only indoor air quality don't need to be inspected. Right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. They can be inspected, but they don't have to. Yeah. They, yeah, of course they can. And and the protocol covers standalone ventilation system also. I mean, I guess you can just uh, remove the port on air conditioning and use the of same course. protocol. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I think we do not have a further question here. Unless something's coming, I guess no. So uh, we will now move the the ball to to Sandrine Charrier from uh, from Cerema to speak about the the French inspections protocol. <laughs> 